look to make up ground in the Western Conference standings, and they'll be happy to be playing an Eastern team as they've done well against this conference to this point in the season. Tonight's starting goalies brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of the NHL. Roberto Luongo for Vancouver, starting for the 13th time in the last 14 games. As Murph told you, John Tortorella called on him yesterday to be a little more consistent with the timely saves. Craig Anderson stopped 29 of 33 in Washington. Win and you're in for Paul McLean as Anderson starts on consecutive nights. Daniel Sedin has his full complement of teeth back, a little emergency dentistry after the last game. A high stick that knocked one of his front teeth out, and there's Eric Carlson. Canucks better be wary of him, the high-scoring defenseman. Vancouver's one of only three teams in the NHL he's never recorded a point against. Carlson had two assists last night, and he leads the NHL in defenseman scoring with 26 points. He starts on defense with Mark Mathot. It's the Turris, Ryan, MacArthur line up front for Ottawa against the Sedins and Alex Burroughs, Dan Hanhuis and Chris Tanev on defense and we're underway in the first of two meetings between these two with the puck sent into the Ottawa zone and early icing call just seven seconds into the proceedings. Uh, John Tortorella is the hockey talk about being on the road and uh, playing a little better than they have at home. I don't think he minds being on the road. I think he's trying to be as positive as he can but I think the players were happy to get on the road. Six game homestand is a long time to be at home. He had interesting comments yesterday in regards to just being aware of the team staying on message and not getting down about the results, wanting them to keep doing what they've been doing. And I think it'll get better. Here's a chance for Burroughs looking for his first goal of the year. Stared down by Craig Anderson on a nice setup in front. Carlson gets the puck, chips it forward. And it's relayed on to the left side to Mathot. Long pass for Turris, right through to Luongo. And <laughs> Turris offside on the play, I guess. Yes. He'll bring the face off all the way back into the Ottawa zone or just outside the line. Nice pass by Daniel Sedin out to Alex Burroughs. Wrist shot in. Craig Anderson gets the right arm out to make the save. Alex Burroughs real, really struggling. And you can see how long it took him to get that shot away, John. And I think that's one of the things is that Alex is just playing with that lack of confidence where it's a bang bang play and Craig Anderson had time to come over and make that save. Anderson with a left pad save off Alex Edler who tested him from center. Edler again from the left point. Sends one wide to the goal. Puck ricochets to the other side. Garrison after it. Chipped out by Conacher. And Edler over to collect at his own blue line. Ahead for Garrison. Here's Hansen. Up ahead to Kessler. Booth going to the net. Ryan Kessler. Wrist shot wide as he tried to beat Anderson on the stick side. Canucks hold the puck in. Edler at the left point, but the Senator is able to pick it up, and it's brought out by Joe Corvo. Corvo over the bank of the blue line. Cuts to the left. Now steps around Garrison, cuts in front, and the puck rolled off his stick. As Corvo made a strong move to the front of the goal. Kessler the other way, and he's bodied by Mathon, who put the hip into Ryan Kessler. Zach Smith, who had the winning goal last night against the Capitals, leaves for Corvo, and he headmans the puck to center. Brought in, and Zibanejad with a shot that went over top of the net. Spezza's after the puck, but Santarelli's there first for Vancouver. Puck loose in the corner. Mike Santarelli goes back and starts from behind his goal with a pass to Kevin Bieksa. He sends the puck off the glass and out. Carlson quickly over to Mathod. He drives the puck back into the Vancouver zone. Bieksa and McCulloch are after it along the near boards. Chris Higgins digging for the puck for Vancouver as well. Bieksa had a chance to pick it up as we hit the two-minute mark. First period, no score. Puck cleared past Carlson and down into Ottawa territory. And it will be just enough for Ison. They judge it was going to get there, and the faceoff comes down the ice. Carlson slowed down an awful lot as he was chasing that one. Two-on-one, Ryan Kessler and David Booth. Played very well, so Kessler has to take the shot and fires it about a foot wide. Mark Mathot catches Ryan Kessler trying to go inside. Able to get the hip on him. Greening will move in to take the face off after Abbotsford's Derek Grant was waved out. Santarelli against Colin Greening. And Santarelli able to win the draw. Still in the top 20 in face off percentage in the NHL is Mike Santarelli, but the Canucks ice the puck again. And the last time the Canucks took on the Senators, it was just about two years ago, December 10th. 
2011 in that game, uh, Ryan Kessler, the offensive star, scored a couple of goals for Vancouver as the Canucks went on to a 4-1 victory over the Senators. That was in the middle of a good road trip. Didn't they win in Montreal the night before and then come in here into Ottawa and win? Good sign when he gets a pair. Had a good early chance, did Ryan Kessler. So did Burroughs. Right now it's the Senators trying to kick the puck towards the net. Was Grant, but the Canucks come up with it and send it down the ice. That will facilitate a full change for Vancouver. Stanton and Tan have paired on defense. After BX in hand, he's took a turn together. Here's Grant in drop pass. Wrist shot one of the save. He juggled the puck after stopping greening, but he was able to grab it and stop play. Well, Roberto Luongo looks up to see if the Jumbotron has a replay up already. A good save by Roberto. In tight. Off his pad and then able to scoop it up. Good positioning by Roberto. As the pads down, stick down, and the puck jumps up, and he's able to grab it. Smith against Kessler on the faceoff. And the puck comes free to Vancouver. David Booth takes a pass from Alex Edler and sends the puck into Ottawa territory. Corey Conacher brings it back in his own zone and now hooks the puck up the boards. Waiting there is Yannick Hansen. He's checked by Smith who plays the puck into the middle. Intercepted but the Senators get it back. Corvo's pass picked off and here's Kessler again. Slap shot up high as he took a pass from Edler and moved in. Puck loose on the near side. Hansen was covering for the defense. He tried to pinch and hold it in, but the Senators get the puck out. Conacher brings it back into his own zone. Now he's under pressure. Hansen down the right side. Centers the puck. David Booth had it roll off his stick. Couldn't get the shot away. After the turnover in the Ottawa zone. At the other end, Conacher with a wrist shot. Left pad saved by Luongo, and Edler was able to clear the puck to the corner. Centers get it to the blue line. Here's Carlson with the drive, and that deflects to the other side. Hansen drops the puck back for Garrison, who returns it. And now it's played around to Alex Edler. Good early chances in this hockey game. Decent pace. And now another icing call as Mathot was ahead of Henrik Sedin on that race. Here's Murph. Guys, while we have time, I'd like to remind people to play Safeway's million dollar score and win if any Vancouver player scores five goals in tonight's game. Lynn Higgins of Delta could win one million dollars. Shop and swipe at Safeway. You could be our next lucky winner. John, you talked about the early chances. Ryan Kessler has one goal in the last nine games. That was on a five-on-three power play goal. He's had two great scoring chances early and missed the net on both of them. Turris waved out of his faceoff. Bobby Ryan will move in to take it against Henrik City. Shots are two apiece for not quite four minutes into the first. No score. Garrison shovels the puck around for Booth. He'll head to the bench after getting it out as Daniel Sedin comes on to join his line mates. And Daniel picks up the puck at center. Gets around one minute. Now works his way in on the left wing. Leaves for Alex Burrows. Burrows in deep for Henrik Sedin. From the corner. Henrik behind the net to Daniel. Being watched by Carlson. Burrows goes to the front trying to find some room. Daniel's pass blocked. And Turris back to pick up the puck behind the goal. He starts out for Ottawa. On to the right wing. Ryan. And offside, skating up the middle, was Eric Carlson as he tried to join the rush. Well, we were told that Kyle Turris was going to be playing against Alex Edler, or Alex Edler, against Ryan Kessler in this game, but he's been matched up against the Henrik Sedin line. And Turris is one of those guys that has been very inconsistent this year. There's been a whole bunch of them on this Senator team, and I think last night's game was a perfect example. The first period, the Senators absolutely stunk. And then the second period, they outshot the Capitals 19 to 3, got back into the game and ended up winning it in the third. A couple of lineup changes for Paul McLean's team, and they're both on the ice right now on defense. Borvietsky and Griba, as Jared Cowan came out of the lineup, and so did too did Patrick Rierkosch. Borvietsky with a hit on Dale Weiss at center. They have words and continue to talk after the whistle, and they're going to fight Weiss and Borvietsky in the Ottawa zone. It wasn't much of a hit at center. And Borowiecki has a left hand free. Weiss off balance, goes down, gets back up to throw right hands. Whoa. You're Pretty right. I, I was wondering why that was called icing when Borowiecki pinched at the red line. And Borowiecki hit Dale Weiss. And then 
I don't think Weiss liked the way he was taken down. I think his head might have contacted, and he's heading to the dressing room. Now, here's the play, and they call it icing. And Dale Weiss didn't like the fact that he was contacted at center ice. There's a left hand that staggered and got back up to continue the fight, however. Teams will remain at full strength. Five each for fighting. And John Tortorella prepares his team for a face-off in the defensive zone. Four twenty-nine, the time of the fighting majors. Two weeks and Borbiecki. Canucks get the puck out, and Joe Corbo back to pick it up. Here's Chris Tanner in his own zone. Ahead to Ryan Kessler. Up ahead to Mike Santorelli. His pass was off the mark, intended for Chris Higgins. And Corvo dumps the puck back into the Vancouver zone. So Kessler onto the wing here. As Higgins moves in on the right side. Chris Higgins with a wrist shot glove save. And Anderson able to fall on the puck after failing to squeeze it initially. Get an oil change by December 15th and get a free gift. Michelin Hybrid Wiper Blades. Get your coupon at MrLube.com. Well, here's a chance, Chris Higgins. Left-hand shot down the right wing, and Craig Anderson able to flag it down. Uh, Ryan Kessler was out there because Dale Weiss right. was in the fight, so you can throw an extra centerman out on the icing call, and I think that's what John Tortorella decided to do. He was talking again this morning, John Tortorella, about how he likes Ryan Kessler on the wing, but needs to use him in the middle right now. But now the opportunity with Weiss out for five minutes to double shift him and give him a chance on right wing. Henrik Sedin shielding the puck from Carlson. Spins to the corner. Banks back. Stands him with a drive just wide. Puck comes to Bieksa on the right side. Kevin Bieksa carries to the corner. Puts one in front. Burroughs jamming at it. Still loose. And Anderson able to grab the puck. While well, Burroughs is cleared out by Mark Mathot. Alex Burroughs could really use one to bank off his shin pad and go in. He, he's had no luck at all around the net. He gets a little hack from Craig Anderson. Comes out in front off a pad and it hits his skate and just trickles back into the goaltender. He gives Anderson a little tap. And here comes the Senators to make sure he doesn't get two cracks at it. Kessler back out at center for the Canucks as Burroughs heads to the bench. Booth and Hansen flanking Ryan Kessler for the faceoff in the Ottawa zone. Canucks with a 4-2 uh, edge in shots. And Vancouver dominating faceoff so far. They've won 9 of 10. This one is handled by the Senators. And the puck is cleared out to center. Gloved down by Ryan Stanton. Kevin Bieksa takes his pass. Throws one forward. Kessler deflects the puck through. Chases in after it. Driver goes back. He's on defense with Chris Phillips. That's the tough part of the fight for Ottawa. The trade-off is they go down to five defensemen. It's a lot easier to handle a missing forward. Chris Neal chops the puck in behind the Vancouver goal. The long go to his net, sweeps it to Stanton. And he goes up the boards for David Booth. Neal fell down trying to move in and hit Stanton. Here's Booth at the Ottawa blue line. Passes off the mark. Phillips headmans the puck to Chris Neal. How much do you want to bet he got credit for a hit on that? <laughs> they do seem to hand them out quite liberally here in Ottawa, don't they? Maybe not as liberally as Long Island, where Matt Martin has about 130. Brad Richardson on the four check for Vancouver. Zach Cassian, Tom Sestito, the other members of this forward line. The Senators have the puck. Carlson on the left wing. Shot by Grant is stopped by Roberto Luongo. Derek Grant looking for his first career goal. Played some for Langley a couple of years before two years at Michigan State. Sestito after the puck in the Ottawa zone. The thought there to poke it around. Garrison thought about pinching. Now he retreats as Greening moves out with the puck. Right wing pass. Grant puts it on the forehand. Drops. Carlson cuts wide. Lost control of the puck. And the net's been dislodged as Cecito went sliding into the Vancouver goal. We'll take a break on the whistle. Still no score here. Canucks and the Senators from Canada. Game with windows. And today we take a sneak peek into the 2014 Heritage Classic. And today, guys, the jerseys were unveiled for the outdoor game. 
Well, there's Henrik Sedin along with Jason Spezza. I like the Canuck one a little better than the Ottawa. And Ottawa's third jersey almost looks like their Heritage Classic jersey. Millionaires, the 1915 rematch coming up in March. Live the game with windows. Scoreless here in the first of the two they will play this season. And Daniel City chips the puck forward. Taken away by Clark McCarthy. And here's Mathot. Breaking out is the ever-present Eric Carlson, who's going to the net now as the puck is thrown towards the goal. Knocked away by Luongo as Turris put it on net on the backhand. MacArthur to the blue line, the thought with a shot, Luongo took it in the chest and he hangs on for the whistle. They talk about Eric Carlson and leading the rush and getting that puck in. Mark Mathot takes the long shot, Roberto Luongo again in complete control, no rebound, absorbs that puck. You can see it cradled against his chest. Carlson averages 27.51, which is crazy. He's such a good skater, he's such an easy, fluid skater. And after that Achilles injury, and I know you're suffering from an Achilles <laughs> problem right now. He's able to come back and still have that fluid stride. Mine less celebrated. Here's Corvo centering the puck. Deflected twice and Longo stayed with it. The last tip off the stick of Zibanejad. Here's Phillips at the left point. Zibanejad takes the pass. Wrist shot attempt blocked by Kevin Bieksa. And the Canucks get the puck out to center. Zibanejad trying to move it back in. Bieksa knocked him over. But Santarelli lost the puck, and the Senators bring it in. Mika Zivanejev shovels one to the side, and Pollock tried a shot. That deflects to the near boards. Corvo then takes a hit from Higgins. Puck comes back towards Spezza. He backhands it in front, knocked away by Bieksa. Here's Corvo with a drive, blocked again by Bieksa. And Stanton overskated the puck. Pressure from the Senators, but Higgins able to relieve it by flipping the puck forward to Mike Santarelli. He gets to the Ottawa blue line on the left wing and hooks one wide to the goal. Phillips takes the ricochet. Canucks are changing as he passes back for Corvo. Chris Phillips takes a lead pass, moves through center. Wow, what a rush by Phillips and a slap shot. Kick the rebound, clear to the side by Alex Edler. Chris Phillips trying for his second goal in as many nights after he'd gone 38 games without scoring, dating back to last season. Henrik Sedin the other way, drops to David Booth. His shot blocked. Interesting combo here. Henrik between Booth and Hanson. MacArthur is into the back. He on the left wing. Clark MacArthur, wrist shot, scores! <laughs> Beat Luongo short side up high, and the Senators lead 1 0. Roberto Luongo had been so good getting positionally square, and this one he cheats a little to the middle of the net. MacArthur, left hand shot past the face off dot, and you can see. Roberto Luongo is cheating to the middle. And MacArthur sees that and goes up top short side. Roberto gets flatter in the net and he's cheating to his left side. MacArthur finds his spot. It's the 100th career goal for Clark MacArthur. And he has his seventh of the season to make it 1-0 Ottawa. And the Canucks penchant for giving up the opening goal continues here in the opener of this road trip. Tom Sestito dives to get the puck out to center. Cassian bumps Greenick. Puck thrown forward. Here's Condra trying to go through to defense. Puck knocked away from him. And Sestito, chance to move it out, overskated it. Richardson takes control and finds Ryan Stanton. Ahead to Kevin Bieksa, who risks the puck into Ottawa territory. Sestito in behind the net for Cassian. Zach Cassian after the puck in the near corner. Comes free to Condra. And he's able to bring it forward for the centers with a pass to Greening, who slides the puck into the Vancouver zone. Well, Kevin Bieksa ahead to Daniel Sedin as the Sedin line reunited here. Smith in with a wrist shot. Luongo gloves that one. And he hangs on for the whistle. Fans reacting to the announcement that it's the 100th career goal for MacArthur. Uh, Clark MacArthur, head up, head up, head up. He's looking past, and the pass isn't there, so he turns to the net. And I think because he looked past twice, he had Roberto Luongo thinking pass. And Roberto cheated to the middle of the net, and MacArthur had some room. MacArthur from Phillips at 8.50. And the Vancouver Canucks, for the 17th time in 27 games,
give up the opening goal. Sandarelli thought he was waved out of his face off, but he'll skate back to take it against Jason Spencer. Sandarelli wins it to the corner. Tanev under pressure. Able to get the puck to Hanhuis, who finds Sandarelli up the boards. Booth takes the hit to allow the puck to escape the zone. Borvietsky and Weiss, their five minute penalty time is done. And Borvietsky has the puck deep in his own zone. Pass at the skate of Spezza and ricochet to the corner. Greiber there, bodied by Higgins, but makes the pass ahead to Zibanejev. Borvietsky. And Senators offside as he tried to shovel the puck onto the left wing to Milan McCulloch. Senators have the opening goal. It belongs to Clark MacArthur. 1-0 Ottawa here halfway through the first. Pitch Classic is Sunday, March 2nd. Of course, Ottawa at Vancouver. Tickets going on sale 10 a.m. on December 5th. Or you can go online, ticketmaster.ca. Or call the number on your screen. Also, the Heritage jerseys available as soon as tomorrow online and in retail stores. Henrik Sedin's Canucks have given up the last six shots in this hockey game and surrendered the opening goal to MacArthur. Face off outside the Vancouver Blue Line. That was one of the things the Senators were talking about because they've given up the first goal 17 times in their 25 starts. Senators control the puck. Bobby Ryan brings it in. Chris shot wide of the goal. And Garrison gets the puck out. Daniel Sedin drops for Alex Edler. Or pardon me for Daniel Sedin, who's in on the right side. Daniel cuts in front. And the shot didn't get through. Here's Garrison. Edler at the left point. Tried to wrist one through. And that didn't work. Senators bring the puck out. Flip it in. Kyle Turris moves in on the fourth shot. They correctly changed the scoring on the only goal of the game. It's MacArthur from the thought. And Bobby Ryan. Daniel Sedin in on the right wing. Daniel tried to throw it across for Edler. He didn't anticipate that play. And the Senators get the puck out to center. Daniel Sedin takes it back and tips it into Ottawa territory. Carlson passes across to Mathot. Now Eric Carlson skates the puck to center on the right wing and flips it in. Canucks send a quick up to David Booth. Into the Ottawa zone with a bouncing wrist shot attempt, steered wide by Craig Anderson. Kessler after the puck on the near side. Senators get it ahead. And Zach Smith puts it in the middle. Here's Chris Neal. Conacher, slap shot, the one who got the right pad on it. Puck winds up in the near corner. Smith throws a hit there on his man Cassian. Now a shot from the line by Corbo, hit a skate in front, and Brian Kessler is able to get the puck out. Smith, first man back, eight minutes left, first period. 1-0 Ottawa. Corbo making moves. Backhands the puck ahead, intercepting his Tanip. Stanton. To Cassian. Now Higgins with a wrist shot. Stick saved by Anderson. Cassian moves in after the loose puck. Santarelli chases it in the right wing corner. Sends one in front. That ricochets back towards the blue line, but Smith is able to intercept. And he banks the puck to the Vancouver line where Tanev tips it free to Dan Hanhuis. Dale Weiss onto the ice for his first shift since the fight. Tanev tried to hold the puck in, couldn't. Here comes McCulloch with speed down the left wing. Milan McCulloch fakes the shot. Ground the net. Luongo's caught out. Chance for a shot here. Blocked as Griva couldn't get it through with Luongo down and out, and he's just now retrieving his stick from behind the net. Senators move back in. Spezza couldn't get around Garrison, and Booth clears the zone. Seven minutes left, first period. 1-0 Senators stealing the puck is Tom Sestito and he backhands it in behind the Ottawa goal. Griba finds Spezza and he relays to Carlson who makes a move at center and moves in. Dishes the puck to the left side. McCulloch leaves for Spezza. Checked by Sestito who is able to backhand the puck down to the Ottawa blue line. Mathot dumps it back in. Ed Edler goes back for Vancouver. Being watched by Condra. Edler waits behind the goal with the puck. Throws a long one ahead for Burroughs. Daniel Sedin ahead of the race. Anderson plays the puck 
and Burroughs missed it. Here come the Senators. Condra on the right wing. Stanton steps into him, but Condra bounces off the check, cuts in front with a wrist shot, Luongo gloved it. And Burroughs took his man down at the side. That was Grant, and that draws a reaction from the Senators as Derek Grant was spilled at the side of the Vancouver goal. No penalties on that play. Roberto Luongo after a short side goal, more aggressive, goes after McCulloch. McCulloch realized he had no chance and went around the net, and Roberto trying to get back into the play. Ryan Stanton goes by Condra, and Condra with a good chance. Good play by Alex Burroughs. Get body position and make sure that nobody gets in front of your goaltender. Derek Grant, a bigger body than Alex Burroughs. Burroughs good positioning to make sure he didn't get in front. Just over six minutes to go, opening period. And Kessler to contest this drama, Zach Smith. Another face-off win for the Canucks. It's 12 out of 17, but they can't get the puck out. Chris Neal tried to get it in the corner, comes back to the right point to Corvo. Down the boards for Neal, he missed the puck. Tanev goes after it. Tried to slide it around the boards to himself. That was blocked. Conacher with a centering pass. Smith trying to make a play on the backhand, was checked. And Han Hughes hooks the puck around for Chris Tanev. He flips to center for Kessler. Puck rolls through to Anderson. And he'll leave for Corvo, who's flushed out by Higgins. Senators turn the puck over, and a quick shot from Cassian is stopped. Kessler jousting a bit with Neal on the whistle, but Anderson has the puck, and his Senators have the lead. It's 1-0 with five and a half to go in the first. One of the things the players say they appreciate about John Tortorella is you know where you stand. You can see Yannick Hansen coming back, and he's floating. He doesn't read it very well, and John Tortorella lets him know, okay, You've got to read that better. You have to realize that that's your man. You come back down the middle of the ice and you see MacArthur is by himself. If you skate hard, you might have got there. And I think that's what John Tortorella is letting Yannick Hansen know. Okay, a little better read next time. And magically, Zach Cassian appears on a line with Ryan Kessler and Chris Higgins. They're into a blender early. Oh. Here's Ryan Stanton. Gets around Chris Phillips. Centers the puck, knocked away by Anderson, then came back towards the goal and just went wide. Higgins. And Kessler in close quarters. Higgins after the puck again. Phillips gets between them. Closing in on 1,100 games as Chris Phillips. Needs a couple more after this one as Bieksa drives the puck back in. Anderson did well to cut it off, and Phillips starts out. Five minutes to go in the first. Turnover, Henrik Sedin. Flips one on to the left wing, Burroughs gives chase. I think Phillips had designs on starting that last rush and getting to the bench on a change, but he's still out there for Ottawa. Daniel Sedin comes out of the corner with the puck. Round behind the net to Henrik. Burroughs goes to the front, Henrik. Passes to the blue line. Jason Garrison with a wrist shot, and that goes off the stick of Henrik Sedin, I think, and over the glass for a whistle. Check out playnow.com and bet live during the game. If you gamble, use your game sense. On that play on the goal where we saw Yannick Hansen, you really have to read the play quickly, and I think that's where Yannick got in trouble was uh, he thought it was a three-on-three, three, and so he comes back down the middle, skating easily, and had he read it real early, then he could have got back with his speed and forced MacArthur to make a quicker play earlier. Spencer deflects that one through to Roberto Luongo, and with Zibanejad moving in quickly, Luongo covers up, and now Santarelli words with Zibanejad because he threw a little snow up towards the Vancouver netminder. I haven't seen that snow penalty called. Shot last year. Uh, the unsportsmanlike yeah. penalty. And you wonder about it. It's there in the rule book. We called the war room one game when we were questioning it. You call them every game, John. <laughs> Just. Here's a long shot from the line deflected. Zibanejad tipped that one, and Luongo on his knees able to make the save. Richardson dumps the puck in from center. He heads to the bench. He was out for face-off duty. 
Weiss out to replace him on a line with Santarelli and Booth. Puck dumped over the Ottawa blue line. Greiva has it. Around for Borvietsky. He was hit by Weiss as they renewed acquaintances. Here's Santarelli in and Booth was just offside on the left wing. So the whistle blows. I think it was Dale Weiss who had to step in outside, but what a good save by Roberto Luongo through a maze. It's tipped in tight. And that, as a goaltender, that's what you try and do. Just get as compact as you can so that there's no holes. And Roberto Luongo stick on the ice, the pads together, and that tip in bounces off his body and stays out. That was the 10th shot for the Senators. Canucks have had seven with just under four minutes to go in the opening period. I mentioned earlier that the Canucks, one of three teams Eric Carlson's never had a point against. It's actually two now because he had a goal and an assist against Dallas earlier this season. So it's the Canucks in St. Louis. For the young man wearing number 65, who's on the ice for all right now, there's a Vancouver penalty coming up to Richardson. As Smith was dumped deep in the Ottawa zone. Sestito was there as well. I think it was Richardson who got his stick in. We'll wait and see. Tripping call. But uh, first power play of the game goes to Ottawa. Yes, it is Brad Richardson stick. And because the turnover created a chance that, and you can see Richardson saying, what, me? Vancouver Meyer penalty number 15, tripping. 15 on 15. And it's 15 in white who heads to the box at 16.32 of the first period. Canucks top ranked penalty killing put to work. Ottawa's power play in Washington, a big night, three for six last night against the Capitals. That's nine power play goals for the Senators in their last six games. Over the same span, they've given up 10 power play goals. So it's been a lot of special teams play in the Senators' recent action. Canucks get the puck off the draw, and Hanhuis is able to drive it all the way down the ice. Carlson back to pick it up. Mathot risks the puck in from center. And he's tried to reverse. He missed the puck. It comes to Carlson to the right point. His pass blocked. Kessler trying to catch up with the puck. But Carlson turns on the Jets, gets there first, makes a quick pivot, but gives it up again to Ryan Kessler. Moving in shorthanded with a wrist shot. That went off his skate and wide of the goal. Carlson through center once more. This time, gains the zone, passes to Kyle Turris, trying to shake free from Biaxa. His pass intercepted. This time, it's Daniel Sedin doing the work. He passes onto the right wing for Henrik. Henrik Sedin into the Ottawa zone, looking in front centers for Daniel, and the pass was tipped to the near boards. Daniel Sedin tips the puck to center to kill some more time. Alex Edler has it, and he'll delay before wristing the puck in behind the Ottawa goal. Minute to go on the penalty to Richardson. Senators having trouble, and... Now we have a whistle. The net is off its mark. Oh, there you go. Been behind Craig Anderson. This is where Daniel and Hendrick Sedin, and people say, well, you know, hey, can they really kill penalties? It's all control. It's all puck control. They don't have to block shots. They don't have to be that physical. They just control the puck. They don't spend a ton of time on the penalty kill, but it's part of their increased ice time, which has them in the top four, both of them in the NHL. And this Ottawa team doesn't have any forward over that 20-minute mark. The exit clears the puck down. Joe Corvo settles it, and he'll lead the rush up ice for Ottawa. 45 seconds to go in the penalty to Richardson, and that pass was off the mark, allowing Edler to clear the puck down again. Anderson to Phillips. Zibanejad tips the puck to Spezza. In on the right wing. Spezza, sharp angle shot, and Luongo with the glove, able to hold that one out with 29 seconds to go in the Ottawa power play. Well, Jason Spezza just throwing that one on the net. I'm sure he was hoping for a rebound. Roberto Luongo got down low to get it. Almost on the boards. Spezza's got no play. About 12 inches off the ice. Kessler against Spezza on this draw. Ryan Kessler started the penalty kill so well. Now he'll try to end it the same way, but Senators win the faceoff. Corvo from the line. Spezza takes his pass. Slaps one in front. That deflects to the far boards. Phillips there first behind the net to McCollum. 
Orlando McCulloch, Jason Spencer, tied up by Kessler, and Hamhues is able to get the puck out. Under 10 seconds to go in the Ottawa power play, Phillips passes over to Zibanejad. He steps up through center and dishes the puck to Jason Spezza. Richardson's back on the ice. After the puck inside his own blue line, Hamhues gets it in the corner. Can't get it past Corvo. Here's a long shot, and that sailed over top of the net. Carlson trying to hold the puck at Tanev reverses for Hamhues. And with Ottawa changing, Hamhues has room to skate with the puck. Sends it ahead to Richardson, who tips the puck in behind the Ottawa goal. Canucks with a successful kill. That's 13 in a row now and 40 of the last 42. As they flirt with 90% on the penalty kill. A third of the way into the season. One of those was a five on three. Final minute, first period. Canucks trailing. One nothing. Here's Daniel Sedin moving in with the puck. Tips it in behind the Ottawa goal. And the thought there to pick it up. Now Anderson can do a little stick handling and clear the puck himself. Out with the puck is Stanton. Anderson plays it behind the goal. Booth trying to cut that one off. He's taken down. Play goes on. Senators try a long pass. That was intended for Conacher. And they wave icing off. Looked like Edler was ahead of that race by a hair. Canucks can't clear, but it's past Condra off the glass and out to center. Period comes to an end. Canucks down a goal. This period brought to you by the new 2014 Toyota Camry, our most remarkable Camry. Welcome back to the nation's capital. Senators lead the Canucks 1-0. First period scoring summary brought to you by Future Shop for the season's hottest gadgets at the best price guaranteed. Head to futureshop.ca. Season's gadgets from Future Shop. MacArthur's 100th career goal from Mathot and Ryan, the only goal so far. Let's check out John Garrett's fresh take brought to you by Subway. Escape the cold with a new Sriracha Steak Melt. Subway, eat fresh. There's only three teams in the league where a defenseman leads them in scoring. Eric Carlson's one of them. And you can see the Canucks killing the penalty right on Carlson. Don't give him any room. Don't give him any space. And that's a fresh take on how to kill penalties by the Vancouver Canucks. Carlson being shut down. They go to him first. And that's a smart decision. Six of his last seven points have been with the man advantage. And the Canucks did a good job killing the penalty against Eric Carls. It's been a staple of the Canucks play. One of the real positives in Carlson will, if there's another opportunity, try to figure out a way to solve the Canucks penalty killers, which so many teams have struggled with. Roberto Luongo, 8 0 in his last eight against Ottawa, but trails Craig Anderson to the Senators 1 0 as we go to the second period. I like how you throw those stats out there. And Eric Carlson, the teams he hasn't scored against, all three Western teams, so that he doesn't play okay. against them very often. And it's down to two the, now. The streak, so. yes, it's two out, two. Of, two out of 29. He, this is the seventh time he's played the Canucks. He's had a chance. But I take your point. Never let the facts get in the way of a good story. No, a good stat. Here comes Carlson with the puck. Dishing off. Now goes to the net as Ryan breaks in off the right wing. Drops. Oh, that hit Luongo with the mask, and he's down. A rising slap shot. Luongo prone on the ice, and Mike Bernstein trying to get out there as quickly as possible. Steve Kazari will help him out as Eddie Lack watches to see if he might have to come into this game. Oh, the mask, and the, it's the shoulder-throat area that I always worry about for the goaltenders, and uh, this rising shot through a screen, and you can see it's off the shoulder of Roberto Luongo. It didn't hit him in the mask. It's off his left shoulder and the collarbone. That area is, and you can see Roberto takes it. You can see the uh, pad go up. It sounded like mask. That's and for sure. There, yeah, it's, there the, uh, it's the just to the left of the mask and you always worry about the collarbone area yeah. and you can see Roberto is flexing that shoulder uh, collarbone and it's he's like okay it. you can see the mark on his sweater uh, John where yeah. the puck hit and the goaltenders uh, I complain about the size of the equipment but uh, the self-defense you have to have big equipment 
to protect the goaltenders. The shots, everybody can shoot the puck. It's uh, my era, there'd be one or two guys on every team that could shoot it. And now everybody, and especially the guys that have no idea where it's going, they all can shoot the puck. Luongo, good to go. 16 seconds into the second. And fell by the 12th shot of the game for Ottawa. Canucks win the faceoff. It's been a strength so far in this game. But haven't hit the score sheet, and that's been a constant in recent weeks. Here's a chance for Daniel Sedin, scores! Ask and you shall receive, and Daniel Sedin has his 300th career goal to tie the game in one. You are the amazing Prescott. This line has had some chances. Remember in the first period, John, the chance that Alex Burroughs had in the first two minutes? And this one is Alex Burroughs hard on the four check. Henrik to Daniel, and Daniel, uh, that good wrist shot. Low blocker side, good four check by Alex Burroughs. I don't even know whether he's going to get an assist on this one. But the quick shot, Craig Anderson doesn't have time to get set because the puck's in the net. You know what else they didn't get, John? They didn't get the puck. Kevin Pollock has the 300th goal puck in his hand, and he's about to restart the game with it. I guess wins are more important yes. than milestones at this point. Third Canuck to 300, game tied at one, and the Canucks are in the offensive zone again. Senators come out with the puck, and Colin Greening sends it ahead to Zach Smith. He relays to the side, a shot attempt by Neal goes high and wide. The X is onto the loose puck behind his own goal. Pass to center, that deflects back into the Vancouver zone. Senators tag up, so play continues. Here's a lead feed for Ryan Kessler. This is to Higgins, Cassian, wrist shot, and reaching in with Smith to deflect that puck over the glass for a whistle. Milestone goal, John. Third Canuck to get 300, and Trevor is only 18 goals away, and Marcus Naslin only 46 away for Daniel. Very reachable. Daniel's age, and Todd Bertuzzi with 310. That's his ninth of the season, and it produces a winner on score and win for Safeway and Sunripe Juice. We congratulate from Surrey, Jack Josephiak. Jack, you won a DVD prize pack from E1. What a quick shot by Daniel, and it wasn't. Uh, Craig Anderson just didn't have time to react. Good pass, good forecheck, all the things that you want to happen. Alex Burrows in hard on the forecheck, and Henrik to Daniel. How many assists has Henrik had on Daniel's 300 goals? Many. You probably know that. I've got an idea. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise. No. There's Booth nothing. scores! David Booth! And the Canucks, with two goals in the first couple of minutes of this second period, have taken a 2-1 lead. John, you talked about the face-offs. In the first period, the Canucks won 16 of 24 face-offs. Here's Brad Richardson, another face-off win. A kick to the boards, a spin back by David Booth, and throw it through the maze of players. Good traffic in front, David Booth with the nice move. The Senators all backed off, thought he was gonna go low along the board. And Eric Carlson, as good as he is offensively, sometimes defensively, he gets caught. And there was Carlson standing in front of his goaltender. Shot goes right through him and right by Craig Anders. Two goals in 45 seconds for the Canucks. Daniel Sedin, 31 seconds into the period. Booth in a minute 16. And a most welcome start to the period for Vancouver. With Burroughs dumping the puck back in. Daniel Sedin after it behind the net. Drive up, backhands it ahead. Hendrick Sedin cuts that off. Here's Daniel into the corner for Alex Burroughs. Burroughs leads for Hendrick Sedin. Daniel comes out front of the back end. Trying to turn the puck onto the forehand. But the Senators bring it out. Derek Grant down the left side with a wrist shot. Missed the net. Drive at the right point. Plays the puck down the boards. Grant holds it in. Collecting on the near side is Jason Garrison, and he sends the puck forward to Alex Burroughs. Burroughs to Daniel Sedin, who one-hands the puck in behind the Ottawa goal.
Canucks completing a change. Kessler, Higgins, and Cassian back up. Joe Corvo has the puck. Gets to center on the left wing and rifles it into the Vancouver zone. Kessler comes back, takes the puck to center. Phillips bodied there by Cassian. Colin Greening gets the loose puck. Dumps it ahead for Neal, who tips it to the near corner. The exit for Vancouver. Pass to Edler. Up the middle to Zach Cassian. And through for Bieksa, or for Kessler, pardon me, through the defense. He feeds and he's stopped by Anderson. As Ryan Kessler took that nice lead pass, and now Cassian and Neal are into it. Off comes a glove. Well, Ryan Kessler breaks through the defense, tries to protect the puck. Craig Anderson with a good save. Mike Santarelli using the feet, and that's such a good faceoff. You tie the guy up, you use your feet, and David Booth snaps it by Craig Anderson. And another winner on score and win again for Safeway and Sunripe Juice. We congratulate from Kamloops, Marsha Wilson. You've won a Garmin Nuvi GPS. Canucks with a couple of goals, and now Vancouver goes to the power play as Chris Neal was assessed the only minor out of that skirmish at the side of the net. Neal gets two for roughing, and the Canucks get their first power play of the hockey game. There was no penalty on the Ryan Kessler rush, but I thought he, there might be a little hooking penalty on that one. So Chris Neal comes into the pile after the whistle, and he ends up in the penalty box. Canucks power play went one for eight against L.A., but it does have goals in four of the last six games. Handler. Henrik Sedin fakes the shot, now sends it through. That missed the net. Daniel Sedin gets the puck in the corner. Near side for Henrik. Kessler providing a little interference. Now a centering pass out of Kessler's reach. Long shot from the line by Garrison. Six to the near boards. Edler over to hold it in the right point. Henrik Sedin to Daniel Sedin. Centering pass. Kessler across. That deflected off a skate on goal. Stopped by Anderson. And now Anderson covers. The pass was intended for Edler, but it hit an Ottawa skate, and Anderson had to be sharp to stop it. Greg Anderson, who didn't get a break on the booth shot, gets a break on this one. Pass out, hard diagonal pass by Ryan Kessler off a skate, and Anderson makes the save. Canucks power play brought to you by Subway. Escape the cold with a new Sriracha steak melt. Subway, eat fresh. I was at Subway today for pregame. Ham and cheese, extra cheese? Yes. Extra mayo? <laughs> Mustard? No veggies? No veggies. You know what you like. They like to see me come in. Dan Hamhuis holds the line. Second unit power play for Vancouver. Just over a minute to go. Hamhuis trapped to the line. Here's MacArthur in shorthanded. Turns, centers, it's off Turris and right to Luongo who hangs on for the whistle. Remember Yannick Hansen on his read on the goal. This time Chris Higgins is coming back and reads the play very well. Dan Hanus gets trapped out. Chris Higgins, read the play. Go with the, who you think is going to be dangerous. And Chris Higgins does a nice job taking his man, Kyle Turris, right to the net so that he can't get a stick on it. Turris has the only shorthanded goal for Ottawa this season. But he's foiled there and now takes a seat as Spencer comes out with McCulloch on the Ottawa penalty kill. Canucks will start the power play from deep in their own zone. Edler. First unit back out for Vancouver. Edler drops for Henrik Sedin. Carries in on the left side. Shovels the puck to Daniel Sedin. Under pressure, he finds Henrik in the corner. Garrison sneaky and shoots. Scores! Jason Garrison moving it off the blue line, one time at home. His goal drought is over, and the Canucks lead 3-1. The Canucks power play getting into the zone is the key to this goal. Henrik and Daniel get into the zone, and then Daniel to Henrik, and Jason Garrison sneaks in on the other side. And, John, you and I talked about it before the game, how Jason Garrison now, it's everything's coming naturally for him. 13 shots in the last four games and make that 14 with this shot. Doesn't stop it, snaps it by Craig Anders. Garrison had the hot start to the year, then went uber cold, has his third of the season, and in the process, he ends a 24-game goal drop. And now has points in three straight games. A goal and two assists. Canucks 
with three early here in the second. They're one for one on the power play and up by two as the Senators work the puck into the Vancouver zone. Borowiecki behind the net, pass back to the line, is out of his reach, and the Senators have to chase back after the puck. Garrison from Henrik and Daniel at 4.06, the power play tally. Here come the Senators, Spezza moving in on the right side, wrist shot, and that went off a stick and over top of the net. It's the first time this season, John, that the Canucks have power play goals in three straight games. Here's Weiss in on the right wing. Borowiecki trying to stay with him. Two Senators taking on Weiss. In for the puck is Sandarelli. Hooks it down into the corner. Weiss pokes it to Sandarelli, turning on the right wing boards. Sandarelli in for Higgins. Intercepting is McCulloch. Higgins gets the puck back. Looking in front, turns, centers right through the crease and out the near side. Puck picked up by Kyle Turris. He sends it ahead at center for McCulloch. That's taken away by Ryan Stanton. Higgins trying to move in. Couldn't take the pass cleanly. Kessler moves in after the puck. Higgins comes up with it. Tried to center on the backhand. Blocked by Bobby Ryan, who gets possession of the puck for Ottawa, but can't move it out along the boards. Cassian in for Kessler. Borowiecki moved to check him. Kessler to the blue line. Here's Stanton. Right point pass. BXR wrist one in front. Loose! And knocked out of midair by Kessler, but into the corner. Clark MacArthur, the Ottawa goal scorer, moves in on the left wing. Finds Bobby Ryan, who dumps the puck into the corner. BXR there to tip it ahead to Cassian. And he skates ahead before flipping the puck intended for Kessler, but out of his reach. Just past the six minute mark, second period. 3 1 Vancouver as Eric Carlson rushes the puck through center. In with a drop pass to MacArthur, he steps around Hanson, centers the puck, Ryan! And that shot was blocked by Edler, who comes up limping. Canucks have a two-on-one, Hanson with Sestito, Hanson centers, Sestito tried to throw it back, and Hanson couldn't catch up with the pass. Bobby Ryan steps around Hanson, who's having an interesting shift, tough at one end, and then created a chance at the other. He's watching with Thaw, who controls the puck behind the Ottawa goal. Richardson hustles to it in the corner. Puck squirts right up the middle. Picked off by Neal. He finds Zach Smith, who gets to the Vancouver line and banks the puck in. Greening steps into Garrison. Neal gets the puck on the right wing. Dumps it behind the net. Garrison gives chase on the near side as we hit the seven-minute mark of the second. Puck held in by Smith. Back for it is Dan Hamhuis. He'll ring it around the other side, out of the reach of Corvo. And this will be icing against Vancouver as Phillips goes back for the puck on the whistle. We'll tell you about the latest winner on score and win for Safeway and Sunripe Juice. Congratulations to Jennifer Klein of Richmond. Jennifer, you've won a Hoover Wind Tunnel multi cyclonic bagless canister. John Tortorella, I think. Is he going to use his time out here? Yes, I think he is. Now here, Alex Hedler on the power play, the little drop pass. And you can see the Senators, all three guys go to the middle. And that created the opening for Henrik to gain the zone. And back to Daniel, back to Henrik, and then Jason Garrison scores. That's a good play at center ice by Alex Hedler. If they could get three assists on that goal, he would get the third assist. Do you think Booth and Garrison both scored with Daniel Sedin's 300th goal puck? Have they changed pucks, or is no, this just a lucky not. one now? They have not <laughs> changed pucks yet. There's been nothing out of play. Well, you asked me the question, John, so our crack team has put together this. Wow. More than two-thirds of the 300 goals Henrik Sedin has been part of. Matthias Olin in there for 25. Three Swedes out of five. After the timeout, face off in the Vancouver zone. Canucks have outshot Ottawa 6-2 here in the second, scoring on half of their six shots. And he was able to win possession of the puck, flip it out. Hanson trying to muscle it in, but it was contacted with a high stick. And we'll take a break. It's been a big middle frame for the Canucks so far, and Vancouver's up by a pair. 3-1 Canucks, second period here in Ottawa, and this is an icing call, bringing the faceoff back into the Senators' zone. Sens played last night in Washington. Big third period for them to score the 6-4 win, and they'll 
need a big second half of the hockey game here in order to overtake the Canucks. Senators have had problems in back-to-back -back games this season. Have yet to win the second half of back-to-back. -back. Here's Alex Burroughs. Pass for Henriksen. Canuck captain takes a hit from the thought. Burroughs trying to find Danielson intercepting was Carlson, and now he takes a pass on the offense, cutting it on goal with the wrist shot, the long way able to stay with him, make the save and fall on the puck. And there was Eric Carlson at his best, that speed up the middle, jumping up into the play, makes the pass and then jumps up into the play. Good scoring chance and Roberto Luongo stays square. Make sure Carlson can't cut to the net. Daniel Alfredson comes back on Sunday and a lot of the people around the Ottawa team say that the guy who misses him the most is Eric Carlson. It was the Sidney Crosby, Mario Lemieux sort of relationship early in Carlson's career. He lived at Alfredson's house. Jason Spezza, the new captain of the Senators after Alfredson left. 13 years, Alfredson wore the seat. Here's Phillips with a long shot, no longer the same through a pile of bodies, and the Canucks come up with the puck and get it out. Neal looked to be a little shaken up. He was down in front of the Vancouver goal, now has words for the referees. He moves back out to center. Phillips out with the puck. Throws it up the middle. Cleared out by Hughes. Kessler chips it over. Cassian with a move at the Ottawa blue line. Lost control of the puck. Icing waved off here. I think Luongo thought it was going to be icing. Let the puck go. Hamus was there to take it, and the Canucks work it down into the Ottawa zone. Cassian in deep for David Booth. He sets it up at the side. Shot by Hamus goes wide. Here's Tanev at the right point. His wrist shot attempt winds up along the near boards. Booth fights for the puck there. Spets able to tap it back to Mathot. He backhands around to the other side. And the Senators start out. Sabanajet. McCulloch now trying to move in and Canucks force the issue. Offside the call for a face-off in the neutral zone. Ottawa trying to get some traffic in front of Roberto Luongo. Chris Neal piled in as Alex Edler gets pushed into Roberto Luongo. Chris Neal is piling in. See Neal hit his head as he went down. Snapped back and that's why he was a little slow to get up. A little over nine minutes into the second. And the Canucks win another face-off. Sandarelli drawing it back. Puck played ahead to David Booth. He moves in on the left wing, cuts to the middle. Booth on the backhand, now turns, drops back. Garrison with room, wrist shot. Anderson to save, rebound, they score! Dale Weiss! And the Canucks with a four-goal second period take a three-goal lead. How do you like David Booth in this game? I like David Booth. I like David Booth a lot in this game. A little bit of confidence. You get a goal and all of a sudden you're a little more confident with the puck. David Booth drives the defense back. Good play by Mike Santarelli. David Booth, stop, be patient. Feed Jason Garrison. Shot and a rebound. And there's Dale Weiss. Traffic in front. The rebound comes out. Craig Anderson can't handle it. He's, Craig Anderson was looking for a penalty call. Doesn't get it. Well, he thought Dale Weiss might have had his second last game on a Chris Tanev shot. This one he has for sure at 9.22 of the second period. And the Canucks make it 4-1. to one. Been a little bit of a goal controversy, goal tending controversy here in Ottawa lately. Canucks are it again. Richardson with a wrist shot, and that's tipped off the target. Anderson dove out, couldn't cover. Now he's contacted and down on the ice. And now getting up. So maybe looked a little worse than it was. He's still he's, he's looking for a penalty. Appealing to Kevin Pollock. And the Ottawa Senators are going to change goalies here, John, as Robin Leonard makes his way into the game. Just shy of the halfway and, and mark of the second. You can see Paul McLean is waving at him anyway. Uh, Craig Anderson gets up, but it's not going to matter. He's going to be sitting on the bench here. 
So he played 18 more seconds after we got the fourth goal past him, and Robin Leonard comes in. Four goals on eight shots here in the second period for Craig Anderson. Will Paul McLean be second guest here for electing to go with Craig Anderson back to back? He talked about the controversy here, and Leonard's had much better numbers. I think he was trying to get Craig Anderson going after the win last night in Washington, where he let in three goals in the first period. Team was able to get six, and they were able to win. Braden Holtby wasn't very good in that game either. Canucks breaking in once more, and Burroughs pass, which would have sprung a two-on-one, was just intercepted by Ottawa. Here's Burroughs again, flipping the puck into the Senators' zone. Anderson gave up four goals on 15 shots in 29 minutes and 40 seconds of work. Canucks turn the puck over. Zibanejad down the boards for Spezza. He puts one in front. Bieksa was in front of McCulloch and able to come up with a puck, get it around to Daniel Sedin. Burroughs takes his pass, gets the Ottawa line, plays the puck in. That starts a Vancouver change with nine and a half minutes to go in the second period. Higgins flushes drive out, now knocks the puck away from it. Kessler's after it. Borvietsky for Ottawa. Bobby Ryan comes back to help out, tips the puck to Kyle Turris. Four Senators to center, and the pass on to the left wing to Borvietsky. He flips one wide to the Vancouver goal. Turris after the puck behind the net, hit by Ryan Kessler. And that frees up the puck for Zach Cassian, who breaks up. Four Canucks to center. Two Senators are back, Cassian on the right wing, and the pass was off the mark. As Vancouver had numbers to the neutral zone, but couldn't make anything happen. Kessler just took a run at MacArthur, who's after the puck at the Vancouver blue line. Tanev knocked it away, but the Senators are able to force it in deep. Corvo at the right point, checked by Higgins, who tips the puck out. Here's Joe Corvo. Has room, so he'll skate in with a wrist shot. Longo took it off the blocker, couldn't trap it, but able to poke the puck to the side, and Hamhuis gets it around for David Booth. Booth looks for Santarelli and finds him at center. In on the right wing, Mike Santarelli, wrist shot, and that was blocked by Chris Phillips. Santarelli again, down for Booth. David Booth leaves for Jason Garrison, wrist shot, off a stick and off the side of the goal. So the Canucks haven't officially tested Leonard yet, although they've directed a couple of pucks his way. Here's Greening at the Vancouver line, but offside, says the linesman. And we'll step aside, 8.05 to go in the second, and Craig Anderson is out of the game, down 4-1. This Sunday on Canucks TV presents a profile on Canucks goaltender Eddie Lack, a nutrition edition of Train Like a Pro, and find out how well Chris Higgins is known by his teammates. Sunday, 7 and 9.30 on Sportsnet Pacific. We're giving out prizes every which way in this period. Another score and one winner, courtesy Dale Weiss, Safeway, and Sunripe Juice. Marianne Smith at Kamloops, he won a Lagostina 10-piece stainless steel cookware set. Well, Dale Weiss going hard to the net. Craig Anderson, I, I don't know what he was complaining about. Dale Weiss just barely brushed into him, gets the rebound on the good shot by Jason Garrison. Good low shot, easy rebound. Dale Weiss singled out by the head coach this morning as a guy who's earning his way up the roster. More ice time, more responsibility. And rewards himself with his second goal of the season. Garrison around for Higgins on the backhand. He goes rink wide to Zach Cassie. In on over the Ottawa Blue Line. Down for Garrison. Tip one through the slot. Smith is over to pick up the loose puck and he chips it out to center. Cassian backhands it back in. Griba and Kessler having words. Chris Neal was trying to get Zach Cassian going. Senators feel they need a lift. Here's Grant through center with speed. Oh, cuts inside with a wrist shot. Luongo stopped it. Pile up at the side of the goal, but Luongo's got the puck as he denied the young man from Abbotsford his first. If you drive on snow and ice, you don't want all-season tires. You want all-weather tires. Get Nokian's most advanced all-weather tire, the WRG3 at Cal Tire. Roberto Luongo bails out. Alex Edler, who gets danced on the outside-inside move. Greiben and Kessler. 
4-1 game halfway through the second period. Don't want to get too involved in that. The extra didn't get anything on that clearing attempt, but now Ryan fans, and the Canucks are through center with the puck. Henrik Sedin into the middle for Daniel. Burroughs gets the puck, tries to throw one on goal. That was blocked by Carlson. And Eric Carlson passes it center to Kyle Turris. He drops for Ryan, who had to reach to poke the puck forward. Canucks send it quickly ahead. They have a chance to move in with numbers. The trailer is Edler as Henrik Sedin gets the pass on the right wing. He's trying to stop to send it in front, but was checked. Canucks send the puck around. There to pick it up is Bobby Ryan. Six and a half minutes to go in the second period. Ryan is in on the right wing. Senators changing in the neutral zone behind him as he throws one across for Turris. Phillips, who's just come onto the ice, passes behind the goal. MacArthur back for Corvo. Turris wants the one-timer, and I think that hit a body in front before deflecting up over the glass for a whistle. Murph. John, while those are breaking the action, we can tell you that Safeway's featured participating product for tonight's game is Sunripe Juice. I don't know whether that one hit Roberto Luongo before it went out, and uh, it was all sorts of traffic in front. Kevin Bieksa and Bobby Ryan on that long shot, and that one might have hit Roberto high after taking that one in the shoulder earlier. They credit a shot, so I think you're right. Ottawa's had seven in the period. Canucks have had eight. But Vancouver's outscored Ottawa 4-0 here in this middle frame. Senators, Spencer fan on his pass, gets the puck back, drives one towards the goal. Luongo got the right pad out to stop that one. Savannah Jan working up. Make a play in the Vancouver zone. Tanev goes back. Savannah Jan hit him hard and knocked him down, but as he usually does, Chris Tanev just bounces back up. Senators get the puck, however. Pass was just out of the reach of Spezza. Now Phillips. Down for Jason Spezza. Kessler's on him. Spezza finds some room, sends one across. Intercepting is Tanev, and he pokes the puck down to the Ottawa blue line. Intercepting is Higgins. Kessler's trapped offside. Senators were yelling for too many men. Play continues. Had the puck got by Higgins, it might have been Ottawa with too many players on the ice. As the Senators send the puck into the Vancouver zone. Neal had no idea of playing the puck there. He ran over the man and we have an injured Canuck. And here's Sestito challenging Neal after the hit. The puck was going by the Canuck player. Neal elected to play the body. He was going to get a penalty for interference. Oh, and now no doubt. And now it, he is quite willing to go with Tom Sestito. I give Tom Sestito credit. He was right there. It was Ryan Stanton who took the hit in the corner. He's back on his feet as the fight continues in a wild right from Sestito. They both go down. I don't know if it was going to be charging or roughing or interference on Neal, but he was getting the first two for sure. Before Tom Sestito stepped up in defense of Ryan Stanton. And they'll both be out of this game for by Mike Bernstein. A couple of big hits in that sequence, John. Uh, the Jinnabad hits Chris Tanev, and there's Chris Neal. The puck has gone by a long time before he hits Stanton, and there was a penalty being called on that, and then Tom Sestito came in. Ryan Stanton. Earlier marks on his face from the altercation with Jordan Nolan in the Los Angeles game. Bobby Ryan is sitting out Chris Neal's extra penalty. CHL Friday night hockey. Tomorrow, John, it's Edmonton Lethbridge, 630 Pacific. Sportsnet 1 and Pacific. Get to watch one of the Reinhardt brothers. And uh, which one is going to be in the top five draft? Uh, Griffin Reinhardt's the defenseman. Max Reinhardt was just called up to Calgary again. So Griffin Reinhardt is playing for Edmonton. I know that. I can't think of the younger one's name who is going to be in the top five draft. I think it's this year. Now you're just putting me on the spot. I'm putting myself on the spot. <laughs> I'm too occupied with this Vancouver power play. Canucks are one for one. And 
with the man advantage again is Garrison. Goes across for Daniel Sedin. Here's Henrik back to Edler over to Garrison. He shoots, and that's wide of the goal. Robin Leonard has still not faced a shot since taking over from Craig Anderson, but he may here with the Canucks on the power play. Throwing it around the Ottawa zone. Edler with a drive, and that hit a skate in front. Garrison dumps the puck behind the net. Daniel Sedin helps it along to Henrik. Still a minute 25 to go in the man advantage. Henrik Sedin in front, Daniel, and there's the first shot Leonard's had to face. Daniel didn't get all of it. Robin Leonard's got the puck. Uh, Daniel got underneath that one, a little saucer pass from Henrik, and Daniel scooped it but didn't get much of it. Daniel slides into that no man's land about 15 feet out so that he is open. Kessler tries to get a rebound. There is no rebound. Here's a chance for Garrison to load up. He missed the puck. Kessler hooks the puck around for Daniel Sedin. It took a funny hop through his legs. And Senators break out shorthanded. Spencer, that one winds up in the corner. Garrison pokes the puck free to Alex Edler. Sam Reinhardt, who you were thinking yes, of. Yes, that's right. And he's supposed to be the best of the three. Here's Daniel Sedin. Henrik Sedin. 45 seconds to go on the Vancouver power play. Ryan Kessler has a touch. Henrik Sedin in front for Daniel. Shoots just wide. Edler tried to send the puck around. McCulloch winds up with it. Passes to Derek Grant, who was being lined up for a hit, so he poked the puck forward, and the Canucks retake possession with 25 seconds to go in the penalty to Chris Neal being served by Bobby Ryan. A little bit of power play time for the second unit, and... An offside call as Burroughs tried to move in on the right wing. Alex Burroughs didn't like that call. He thought he was, and you can see him looking at the linesman. It was very close. Power play again. Good puck movement. Best chance was that one by Daniel Sedin that he didn't get all of. That was the only shot. The only shot Leonard has faced. Mark Mathon after the loose puck. Checked by Mike Santarelli, but gets it through on the second attempt to Grant, who passes to Eric Condra at center. He drops off to Eric Carlson. Penalty's over. Canucks one for two with the man advantage. And the whistle blows. Senators offside. Here's Murph. Well, coaching day in BC is coming to Rogers Arena Saturday, December 7th. BC Hockey coaches help your team improve by participating in a free coaching seminar with the Canucks coaches and guest speakers. Plus, win great prizes. Go to Canucks.com slash coaching day to register today. Good experience on the Vancouver Canucks coaching staff. All three have been head coaches in the NHL. Driven in by Mark Mathot. Canucks with numbers down low came up with it, but it's held into the blue line by Carlson. Under pressure from Richardson, he hooks the puck back. Smith to Turris. His pass picked off, and Dale Weiss moves the puck to center. Turris picked his pocket, but Weiss gets it again and banks the puck forward for Higgins, who pokes it over the Ottawa blue line. Two and a half minutes to go in the second period. Here's Dale Weiss. Brad Richardson takes that puck. Carlson's on him. Mathot overskated it. And the Canucks retake possession. Weiss in for Higgins. Chris Higgins works his way back towards the blue line. Now cycles the puck to the corner. Carlson cut that off and he gets the puck out. Tanev. Checked by MacArthur, who now turns in the neutral zone before sliding one through to Bobby Ryan. Ryan cuts in the middle, wrist shot, Luongo knocked it down. MacArthur the rebound, Luongo stopped that as well. Senators jam away, and Luongo's got the puck. As Clark MacArthur on the rebound attempt was looking for his second of the game. Canucks get caught on a line change on this play. Bobby Ryan has the shot from right in the middle, and Roberto off the glove, but he's able to get his body on top of it. Kept it close enough that he could fall forward on it. 
Well, John, hopefully you'll be able to see this after we call the Rangers game, but it's the Ultimate Fighter Team Rousey versus Team Tate. It's the finale Saturday at 5 on Sportsnet 360. Murph will have it on his phone. Senators win a face-off. Corvo back to Zibanejet. His shot didn't get through, but the second one did, and Luongo kicked it away with a left pad. Corvo's in deep. Edler's on him. Spezza picks up the puck. Centering pass blocked by Bieksa. Spezza gets it again to the blue line. Long shot from Phillips. Deflected and Luongo got the left shoulder on it. Now the puck goes through the crease and off the near side. And Zach Cassian winds up with it but throws it up the middle and it's intercepted. Spezza turning, drops to Phillips. Right point pass, Corvo over to Phillips again. He wrists one towards the net and that hits advantage out of the right skate. David Booth gets the loose puck. He can't get it out. Corvo with a chance to load up. Let's it go, deflected again, Luongo stuck it, and it banked in. Zibanejad put it to the crease and it deflected in. Senators back within two. Well, how many chances did the Canucks have to get that one out? Zach Cassian on one side, David Booth on the other. Uh, David Booth, instead of going up the boards, hits Ryan Kessler in the back. Uh, sh shot tipped, and then Zibanejad finds it first, and on the backhand slides it into the empty net. Shot comes from the point. Zibanejad plays it off his body, off Roberto's skate. And you can see John Tortorella not happy with the two chances to get it out. One on either side. Late in the period, get it out. 18-58. And the Canucks three-goal lead down to two, but now they steal and Burroughs just ripped one wide. Another chance. Hand he's in the blast, stopped by Leonard, who covers up. Robin Leonard. Keeping his team within two there as the Canucks try to answer quickly back. Well, the giveaway by Eric Carlson and Alex Burroughs just fires it wide. And then Carlson again coughed it up. That shot tipped and Leonard in the right spot to make the save. Another good chance for Alex Burroughs. Who continues the quest for his first goal of the season. 45 seconds to go in the period. And Borowiecki gets the puck over to Griva. Senators couldn't move it through center. Borowiecki goes back again and ices the puck. So Vancouver will get another offensive zone draw with 31 and a half seconds to go in the second period. And you can see Alex Burroughs kind of shaking his head. Another great chance. Sedins and Burroughs stay out. Ottawa winds up with the puck. Senators get it out to center. Ryan spins his way in. Puck knocked away from him. Henrik Sedin calmly plays it to Hamus, and he skates to center with 15 seconds to go in the period. Gains the red and dumps the puck in. Leonard leaves for Borowiecki. And he takes a look at the clock, may elect just to allow time to run down. Senators still have their work cut out for them, but they've drawn a little bit closer as Turris blasts one at Edler. Man. And Weiss is having words with Kyle Turris. In his defense, it was probably heading towards the Vancouver goal, but Edler took the brunt of the shot, and that results... He's getting a misconduct, I think. I think Kyle Turris is... Is he? I think so. I guess if you're in the process of running the clock out and then with the horn sounding, elect to shoot it in an opposition player, a misconduct may result. We'll sort it out in a little bit. We can tell you Jason Garrison, who has ended his goal scoring drought, will be in conversation with Dan Murphy momentarily. Big for a uh, second period for the Canucks. Dumps cashing in and not just Henrik and Daniel. It's always great to have your stars going, but everybody else, David Booth contributing. Jason Garrison. Four points in the last three games for Garrison. And the Canucks take a two-goal lead into the third. And what are the Canucks when Henrik and Daniel both get points? This year? Oh, uh, this year they're 10-3-1 or something. But you have 
the stat going back to yeah well this year they are 10 3 and 2 but since they came into the league they're 201 games above 500 201 games above 500 they're on the ice to start the third and the thought has the puck backing up in his own zone can't get it by Daniel Sedin the first time, but does the second. Tan Evitt center. Passes over to Dan Hanhuis. Henrik Sedin to Christopher Tan Evitt. Pass for Hanhuis was out of his reach. He takes the puck on the ricochet. Now starts from behind his own goal. Ducks actually outshot 25-17 through 40 minutes, but chased Craig Anderson. Four goals on 15 shots. Robin Leonard has stopped the only two shots he's faced, and he's out to play the puck in his own zone. Kyle Turris did not get a misconduct penalty. It was, I'm going to have to talk to Kevin Pollock. You can't stand there with your hands on your hips while you're waving to the guy <laughs> to go to the dressing room. He confused you. He did. Here's Carlson in over the Vancouver line. Gets the puck again at the blue line, but lost control and now has to pass back to Chris Phillips. Zibanejad couldn't reach that one. Canucks worked the puck to Higgins, who's in on the left wing. Higgins had his shot go off a leg and deflect to the far side. Puck held in by Kevin BX. A wrist shot. Higgins in front trying to tip it, and the puck winds up in the corner. Corvo. Round for Phillips. And he returns the puck to Joe Corvo. Steps up through center and over the Vancouver line. Trying to go wide on Tannen. Now puts the puck in front. Booth knocked it away. Pass intended for McCulloch, and Booth gets it out. Canucks have a two-on-one. Weiss with Santorelli. Dale Weiss moving in. He shoots. Stopped by Leonard as Dale Weiss went looking for his second goal of the game. Leonard's made a couple of key stops since the Senators cut the lead back to two. Now MacArthur has the puck in the Vancouver zone. Passes on to the left side. Turris with a shot. That might have grazed the top of the crossbar. MacArthur to the blue line. And that shot by Borvietsky winds up going off the end glass. Turris again. Senators turning up the heat. Borvietsky shoots. Blocked. Rebound. Turris. Blocked again by Tanev. Canucks needing a change. Tanev passes in front of his own net to Hanhuis. He banks the puck for Santorelli, who gets it to Booth, and he'll dump it in deep before heading off. Two and a half minutes into the third. Canucks up 4-2, to two, looking for just their second win in nine games. Hansen fighting for the puck at center. Able to backhand it into Ottawa territory. Leonard out, leaves for Carlson. He gets the puck to Corey Conacher, who saw just three shifts in the second period. He couldn't get the puck out. Leonard's out of his net. And checked from behind by Richardson, but he couldn't make the centering pass for Yannick Hansen. Garrison at center, works the puck to Hanson. He dumps it back in, and Leonard settles behind the goal for Carlson. A little over three minutes into the third. Spetsa couldn't reach that puck, but following on is Zibanejad. Wide right, Edler dove out to knock the puck away, but Zibanejad gets it again. Checked by Henrik Sedin coming back. Now the puck punched forward to Henrik. He goes up the right side to Daniel. Daniel Sedin stops, drops. Here's Henrik. Fakes the shot. Edler stopped by Leonard. Alex Edler didn't get much on that one, but Leonard had to come across to his right to make the save. Good play by David Booth to get this puck out, stay with it, stay with it, and then just a little chip, and that creates the two-on-one. Dale Weiss, no pass available, take the shot. Robin Leonard with a good save. He's looking pass. It's taken away, tries to go five-hole. Uh, Chris Tanev. Gets knocked down, but still able to get the hands up to block the shot. Orvietsky just came in and steamrolled Chris Tanev, and Tanev still able to keep his head and his eyes on the puck. Hansen trying to create a chance off the draw. Still with the puck, working out of the far corner. Yannick Hansen stops on the end board. Still with the puck, making moves. Hansen. Spinning again, out on the backhand, turns to the forehand, dishes the puck to Ryan Kessler. Blue line feed, Hanhuis, wrist shot, tipped wide, Hansen gets it again. Four minutes into the third. Higgins hustles after the puck on the near side, Phillips is on him. Higgins winds up with it, goes behind the net. Canucks changing 
Well, controlling the puck in the Ottawa zone, Weiss has come on to replace Hansen, and he intercepts and dumps the puck in deep again. Weiss gets it, puts it in front, and scrambling back. Kessler couldn't get a shot on the rebound. After Leonard made the save, scrambling back to the crease. Savanajad the other way. Drop pass, Smith. Centers, put wide. What a chance for Greening. Colin Greening with a deep to the back end. Malone got a piece of it. Looked like he just missed the net. Here's Carlson. Fakes the shot. Let's it go. Long with a save. And a puck cleared to the corner by Kevin Bieksa. Senators pick it up there. Greening. Back to Carlson. Drags to the middle. Let's it go. Blocked by Higgins. And the puck ricochets out to center. Canucks changing. Ottawa trying to take advantage. Carlson back in on the right side. Wrist one towards the crease. Knocked away by Luongo. Bieksa gets the puck, tips it off the glass, and it goes out of play. The faceoff will stay in the Vancouver zone after some hairy times around the Canuck goal. Well, this was a three-on-two that ends up being a breakaway. Colin Greening on the backhand just slides it wide. Greening got his first goal last night of the season, and there had a chance of shaking his head on the bench. That goal last night, just his first in 33 games dating back to last season. Senators win the draw on the Vancouver zone. Spezza, wrist shot, blocker save Luongo. Mathot at the left point, down the boards for Spezza. Puck rolled off the toe of his stick as he tried to make a pass, and Richardson from center slides it towards the Ottawa goal. Leonard can't play that one, it was outside the trapezoid. Richardson gets the puck behind the net. Richardson on the backhand tried to put one in front. Santarelli's after the puck as well. He steals, cuts in front. Santarelli stop and Leonard, and he scores on his own rebound. Mike Santarelli with a nose for the net, and the Canucks lead 5-2. Oh, this all starts with a good four check, and this line has been really, really good in this game, and we showed how David Booth has done and Mike Santarelli. Leonard now, as you said, that's out of the trapezoid. So Booth is there first. Richardson behind the net. Stays with it, stays with it. Santarelli. David Booth creates the turnover, and Mike Santarelli stuck right with that one. Gets his own rebound. Robin Leonard opens up, makes the original save, and then Santarelli slides it through. Spencer with the turnover. It'll likely be an unassisted goal. Santarelli's sixth, his 15th point, which ranks him fourth in Canucks scoring. Back to a three goal advantage for Vancouver. Here's Burroughs trying to get the puck in deep for Daniel Sedin. That's broken up. Phillips goes rink wide in his own zone for MacArthur, who drops the puck back to Corvo. It is unassisted. Santarelli at 531. That's where the other two guys in the line worked hard, but just don't get assists. Created the turnover. Puck into the Vancouver zone, Bieksa collects. Now around for Edler who missed the puck. Higgins has to hustle back, but Ryan's there first, throwing it towards the goal. The goal, that deflects to Higgins. And he skates to center before chipping the puck in for Hansen to chase after. Yannick Hansen set a good start here to the third. Ryan Kessler dumps the puck around to the near side. Stanton moves down from the point. Trying to get it in deep for Ryan Kessler. Covering for him is Hansen. He couldn't hold the puck in, and the Senators tip it down to the Vancouver Blue Line. A penalty on the play for, is it a slash or a knee almost, it looked like. Ryan Kessler's heading off. Santarelli, though, has the fifth Vancouver goal, and it's 5-2. to two. Each month, play Canucks Fantasy Howie Hockey, powered by Rogers, and compete against other fans. Pick your players for each game, collect the most points each month by making good picks, and you could win a player signed jersey and bragging rights, of course. Go to CanucksFantasyHockey.com today. Ryan Kessler is in the penalty box. I don't know. He gets a tripping penalty. Uh, right there, I guess he pushes Eric Driver's foot and ends up in the penalty box. Here's Richardson poking the puck forward, trying to get around Carlson. Senators get the puck back. Spencer drops for Carlson. Passes to the left point. Phillips moves down the boards. Puts one in front. Senators chop it towards the goal. That was hooked wide by Spencer who tried to spin and get it into the net. Canucks come up with a puck and get it out. Second power play for Ottawa. Spence in on the right wing. Leaves for nobody. Oh, Santarelli tripped up. There'll be a penalty for that. As he went after the loose puck. 
And there goes the Ottawa power play as Zibanejad heads to the box. Well, sk stick in the skates. No doubt about that one. And that's that Ottawa dangerous line. area, unfortunately, for Mike Santarelli. His feet were parallel to the boards rather than perpendicular. And so he just pounds the chin pads into the boards. Mike Bernstein's over checking his wrist. Four on four for a minute 23. Barring any more infractions. Daniel Sedin gets the puck to the blue line to Alex Hedlund. He sends it to the right point, but he acts a lots of room. Slap shot, Leonard the same, and he gets the whistle. For a face-off in the Ottawa zone, Leonard's being beaten once by that man, Mike Sandarelli, and that means another winner on a score and win for Safeway and Sunripe Juice. Janice Fiolo of New Westminster, he won a $250 gift card from Visions Electronics. It's Mike Sandarelli's first goal in nine games. He stays right with it. I like that. Uh, you don't just do a cruise by. You don't do a flyby and say, oh, I had one good scoring chance. You stay with it and get your own rebound. Puck to the blue line just out of the reach of Edler, and he'll regroup and neutralize, passing over to Kevin Bieksa. There's a minute to go in the Kessler penalty, and then the Canucks stand to go on a power play of just over 30 seconds. Nearing the eight-minute mark, third period, 5-2 Vancouver. Bieksa with a wrist shot, glove save for Leonard. And again, he hangs on for the whistle. Canucks get credit for another penalty kill, even though it only lasted, what, 22 seconds in your math world? So that's 14 in a row, 14 in a row. 41 of 43. And, and I said the one was a five on three, it was that four on three San Jose one in overtime that Dan Boyle was one of them. Burroughs comes out with Chris Higgins. Here's Carlson with the puck. McCulloch takes his pass, moves in on Dan Hamhuis, who knocked the puck away. Tanev takes it for Vancouver. Quick turn behind the net, and a excellent outlet pass to Alex Burrows, who drops for Higgins. His shot handled by Leonard, who was challenging on top of the crease. Another whistle, and here's Murph. John, it's our third annual awards issue, featuring the most amazing moments of our national pride to the wildest conspiracy theory. Plus, we unveil Sportsnet magazines. Canadian Athlete of the Year. Subscribe to Sportsnet Magazine now at sportsnet.ca slash magazine. I wonder if the Rogers major announcement would be part of that. Had it come out before the magazine, I'm sure it would have been because that is quite the deal for Rogers. I'm guessing that uh, Murph said some of the conspiracy theories that you must be linked to that <laughs> somehow. Here's Han Hughes loading up. Leonard the save on that one. He's looked very cool making stops here in the third. Daniel Sedin gets the puck. Pass for Henrik. Back to Daniel. Cutting it on goal. And Leonard the save on the short side. 15 seconds to go in the Kessler minor. And then the Canucks will have a brief power play. Here's Henrik Sedin out with the puck. Kessler standing in the box. As Daniel Sedin takes the pass. Moves up the middle. Daniel dishes off. Intended for Henrik. But that's intercepted. And Carlson... Passes over. Smith in on the left wing, killing time. Gets the puck to Turris. He tried to get a shorthanded chance, but the puck is knocked away. Another penalty, though. Dan Hamhuis is going to go off. Might have put a hook in on Turris as he tried to get that chance. And the Canuck power play lasted only a few seconds. Number two, Vancouver. Two minutes hooking. Shorthanded, the Ottawa Senators. Trailing by three to go on the old fence. Dan Hamus one hand on the stick. Let it go, but it had it in the midsection and ends up with the hooking penalty. So back to four on four, this time for just 24 seconds. And then Ottawa to the power play for a little over a minute and a half. Just about nine minutes into the third. 5-2 Vancouver. Sandarelli with the only goal of this period, adding to Vancouver's lead. Scrambled draw, Turris gets the puck. Lost it in traffic, Kessler chases after it at center. Bumped by MacArthur as he played the puck forward. Chris Phillips rushes the puck through center. Puts one in front, Turris couldn't make contact. 
Corvo at the line, passes to Phillips, his blast blocked by Edler. Here's the advantage added to the box. Ottawa's onto the power play for the third time. Tanev fell down. Tourist centers. The advantage added across. And MacArthur couldn't get a shot away. Phillips. Down for Corvo. His shot wide of the goal. And the puck hops past MacArthur and down to the Ottawa blue line. A little over a minute to go in the center's power play. Zibanejad in on the left wing. Plays the puck around for Clark MacArthur. He's checked. Burroughs winds up with the puck and wrists it all the way down the ice. Halfway through the third, Canucks five and the Senators two. Joe Corvo with a pass at center to Jason Spencer. He works his way in on the right side. Plays the puck around for Bobby Ryan. Ryan tried to reverse it himself. That was cut off by Garrison. Senators get the puck back. Nice hold by Carlson. His shot wide of the goal. Puck ricochets in front. Gloved down by Corey Conacher. Blue line feed. Corvo. Carlson. Near side for Conacher. Had to take it on the carom. Now he goes rink wide. Carlson moves to the middle. Dishes off. Bobby Ryan stopped by Luongo moving to his right. Ryan threw a hit on Garrison in the corner. Senators get the puck back, but now Burroughs takes it away. He's knocked down, and Ottawa gets it back. Carlson cutting in front. Check might have had his stick slashed out of his hands. Play goes on as the Senators appeal for a penalty, and the Canucks send the puck down the ice. I think because Alex Burroughs didn't draw a penalty when he was trying to get it out, the referees decided, okay, we'll let that one go, and then let another one go. That's in the rule book under tit for tat, is yes, it? Yes, that's... Okay. Canucks, part of the rule book. Canucks are back to full strength. Ottawa's 0 for 3 on the power play. Carlson none too happy. He shows his frustration. Canucks return home next week before three games in four nights. Starts with Phoenix on the 6th, then back-to-backs on the 8th and 9th against the Avs and Hurricanes. Great seats available for all three games. Don't delay. Go to Canucks.com slash tickets to buy yours now. Well, the Ottawa Senators have a legitimate beef. Alex Burroughs gets pushed down from behind. There's no call there, but this one... Jason Garrison just chops down on Eric Carlson's stick and no call on that one. Senators are offside here. They'll tag up. As Alex Burrow starts out with the puck, passes to Dan Hamhuis. Here's Chris Tanev gaining center and driving the puck into Ottawa territory. Off Carlson's skate right to Burrows, tried to center, went off the back of the goal. And Zach Smith headmans the puck to Colin Greening. Greening tips the puck in. Chris Neal moves in on Hamhuis. Gives him a bump, but Hamhuis able to spin and send the puck to the point. Held in by Carlson, who gives it away to Henrik Sedin. Henrik quickly to center. Moves in on the right wing. Henrik waiting for the trailer. It was Edler the pass was intended for, but Greening intercepted, and he leaves the puck for Mark Mathot. Dale Weiss. Trying to come up with the puck in the Ottawa zone. Mathot tips it around for Carlson. Eight minutes to go. Third period. Canucks leading 5-2. David Booth plays the puck to the far side. Mathot gets it out and waiting at the Vancouver blue line is Alex Edler. He sends one quickly ahead. This will be icing. And a face-off coming up in the Vancouver zone. Barclays Premier League action. And we got lots to tell you about Everton, Stoke City. That's on Sportsnet. Aston Villa, Suther, uh, Sunderland on Sportsnet World. Those are both Saturday, 6.30 in the morning. And that's followed by Newcastle versus West Brom. 9 a.m. That game kicks off on Sportsnet. The 9 a.m. Pacific time. You'd be up. We're in the Eastern time zone here. Get out your computer. Could do. Here's Dryla. Under pressure from David Booth in the Vancouver zone. Seven and a half minutes to go. Sandarelli comes up with the puck. Pass at center for Dale Weiss. Taking the puck away is Borbietsky. And MacArthur back to pick it up and start out. Pass ahead to Kyle Turris. He's in up the gut. Tried to relay to Bobby Ryan. That was knocked away. And Yannick Hansen clears the zone. Eric Greiba. Passes across center. Puck is tipped past Higgins by Turris, who moves in with a wrist shot. And Luongo challenging, got the blocker on that one. Bieksa clears the zone. And Corvo goes back for the puck with under seven minutes remaining in the third. 
Milan McCulloch drops to Joe Corvo. He gets to center on the right wing. Sends the puck behind the goal. Tanev spins away from Zibanejad, works the puck to Kessler. Hansen took a hit from Phillips as he helped clear the puck out. Corvo being pressured by Higgins. Almost stole it behind the goal. Keeps after the puck. McCulloch there to take it away for Ottawa. And he'll circle his net and start out as the Canucks complete a change in the neutral zone. Lead pass for Zibanejad. Deflects to the corner. Tanev there. Taps the puck around for Dan Hanhus. Up the middle of Richardson. Now Zach Cassian. Backhands the puck into the Ottawa end. Have you seen Chris Neal since the fight? Yes, he was out uh, two shifts ago against the Sedin line. Ottawa in, Condra with a move to the back here. Garrison tried to get the puck out, Spezza held it in, Mathot with a shot, Luong with the same rebound, he tried to cover it. Puck wound up squirting to the near corner. It's been a rare shift here in the third for Zach Cassie. He's headed off as the Senators play the puck back into the Vancouver zone. Grant tried to center, that was blocked. Richardson gets the puck out, and here comes Alex Burroughs. He banks the puck forward, it moves in on Borbietsky. Throws a hit, Senators wind up with the puck. Get it to the blue line, and force it out to center. Here comes Derek Grant, right wing pass. Condra with a centering pass. Oh, Luongo with a right pad save on a redirect in front. Good reflexes there from the Vancouver netminder. As the Canucks go offside of the Ottawa blue line, Burroughs is into a glove punch match here. There is a hit on the whistle. Burroughs, Conacher, and every skater on the ice involved in this one. I think there is going to be some penalties on this one. They're pointing fingers anyway. We'll sort it out when we return to Ottawa. It was Conacher with a hit on the whistle, and Burroughs didn't appreciate Canucks are being outshot in this game, 35-28. They've been outshooting their opponents almost every night. And Roberto Luongo, a funny night, takes one off the collarbone. The goals that went in were two funny ones. A short side one by MacArthur. Zabinijads went off. Roberto's skate went in. But other than that, he has been absolutely great. He's controlled the rebounds. He's been in position. And a great reaction, that last one the right pad to make the save on the tip in from about five feet out. 35 shots is the third most Longo has faced this season and there's still five minutes left in this one. Season high against for Vancouver is 38 shots on goal. And that was the Montreal Canadiens who did that. Coincidental liners to Conacher and Burroughs. And Longo hangs on to the puck for a face off in the Vancouver zone. Here's the game summary. It's brought to you by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick for furniture, mattresses, appliances, and big screen TVs. Well, we all know how well the Canucks do when both Sedins are involved. And Daniel gets his 300th. Five guys, you like that. Five players with two points. Are you getting hungry? And goals by the plenty. <laughs> and poor Craig Anderson. His last five, well, his last six starts now, he's had four or more in five of them. Spencer will bring the puck out to center. Now give it away to Alex Edler, who fanned on his pass. Senators move in. Spencer's on side. They say he's in on goal. And Luongo held the puck out. With BX is sprawling to try to break it up. That was a close play at the line. Here's BX the other way. McCulloch let go of his stick. Make sure he didn't get the hooking call. Now BX up ice again. Goes wide on Zibanejad. Try to center a pass, it deflects to the near boards. Held in there by Higgins. Four minutes left. And Kessler poked that puck away. Leonard leaves from a thought. Here's Clark MacArthur. To the Vancouver line, tips the puck past Han Hughes, who turns to send it around for Chris Tannen. 35 seconds to go in the four on four. Sedins and Han Hughes through center. Han Hughes in on the left side. Dan Han Hughes centers the puck, and it didn't get through to Daniel Sedin. Pass blocked by Carlson, who now lifts the puck high and out to center. Gloved down by Henrik Sedin. 
And Hamhuis takes control in his own zone. Ahead for Daniel Sedin. Tried to go rink wide to Henrik. That was gloved down by Bobby Ryan. Ryan to Carlson. Cuts to the right wing boards. Pressured by Stanton. Here come the penalized players back on. Burroughs and Conacher. Team is back to full strength with three minutes to go in the third. And the Canucks leading five to two. Chris Phillips. Takes a return pass from Bobby Ryan. Carlson backhands the puck ahead. Conacher tips in at a Vancouver zone. Garrison goes back. Burroughs is open on the near side. Bumped by Joe Corvo as he gets the puck out. Canucks have really done a nice job on Eric Carlson. He hasn't been involved. They've been close to him. Corvo in with a wrist shot. Luongo stopped that. Richardson trying to get the puck out. He's checked by Greening. Edler tried to reverse. Neal blocked that. Canucks knocked the puck to the side. Corvo down to try to hold it in. The exit doesn't have a stick. It's broken. He'll try to kick the puck along the boards. Held in by Zach Smith, whose sharp angle shot is stopped by Longo. Then he fell on the puck, and Edler got shoved in towards his goalie. Well, I remember I was talking about Chris Neal. He's out there now. And I think he's the one who launched Edler into the goal crease. 39 shots now for the Senators, but Luongo has stopped 37 of them. And here's Murph. Reminder to shop and swipe your club, uh, club card at Safeway today. Watch future Sportsnet telecasts. You could win a week of unlimited luxury at Dreams Resorts and Spas, courtesy of redtag.ca. After the fight in the second period, Chris Neal has played two shifts. This is his third shift, and he's out there, and uh, he was the one who got involved, pushing everybody into Roberto Luongo. Frustration is, this is the fourth, or is it the fifth? The fourth back-to-back -back that the Senators have played, and they got one point in the second half of back-to-back -back games. Canucks have an interesting one coming up on the weekend as they play another one of their 17 back-to-backs this season, but consecutive afternoon games. What's their record in back-to-back -back afternoon games? <laughs> you, you must have that. Yeah, I mean, you have all those stats, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. You, you've done a brilliant job of putting me on the spot in this game. I must hand it to you. <laughs> I'll look it up for you. Yes, thank you. But they play at Madison Square Garden Saturday afternoon, and then in Raleigh the next afternoon, an hour earlier. 90 seconds to go in this one. And the Canucks will head to the Big Apple with a win under their belt. Senators will try to make it not quite as bad, but Spezza couldn't get the shot through. He's got the puck again in the corner. Centering, intercepted by Cassian, gets the puck to Richardson, and he chips it out. Carlson steps in, but Spezza was trapped offside, and the whistle blows with a minute five to go. The Ottawa Senators, uh, who thought they really had it going in the second half of the game last night in Washington, well, the second and third period, and we're trying to carry it over into this game. Uh, Paul McLean started Craig Anderson again, tried to get him going, and it just wasn't meant to be, although they had a 1-0 lead at the end of 20 minutes. You know, the final minute of the hockey game, and another whistle as the puck deflected off the stick of Condren over the glass. And you wonder about the goaltending here in Ottawa. Greg Anderson has, has struggled to the point of his goals against is a goal more than Robin Leonard's. His save percentage is more than uh, 25 points less than Robin Leonard's. Dan Hanhuis under pressure. Gets the puck to Chris Tanev. Up the middle for Richardson. 40 seconds left. As Corvo moves in, Puck took a weird bounce in the corner, but the Canucks able to deal with it. Tanev starts out. Sends the puck into the Ottawa zone. Icing waved off. Corvo tips it around for Phillips. 20 seconds to go. Stanton thwarts the attempted entry by the Senators. Hansen turning with the puck. Moves in on the left wing. Yannick Hansen throws on the brakes, drops to Stanton, long shot wide of the goal, puck 
Ricochets to Derek Grant who starts out. And the Canucks have done it again. And the Canuck Nation is still here applauding the big road win for the Vancouver Canucks and the uh, teammates all come back to congratulate Roberto Luongo who battled in this one. It was one of those games, bad goal in the first period by Roberto. One off his skate in the second period and the Canucks gave him some run support. I say they've done it again in that they've beaten the Senators once more. They've continued to dominate the East and another game they win when giving up the first goal. Canucks Hockey on Sportsnet.